Hi everybody, my name is Kern and I post home recording weekly. If you're watching this on YouTube, please know there is a link to my website in the description. And if you use that link, if you're watching this on YouTube, it will take you over to my website where I will have images and links to the products that I mentioned. Now, I have been watching um, a lot of brand new tutorials and I've been forcing myself to use multiband compression a lot. I use it all over the place. I use it on... Uh, tracks like drums, vocals, uh, guitars, things like that. And I also use it over here on the mix bus. Well, David Glenn has been pushing me. I watched uh, Mixing Acoustic Pop from David Glenn, and I also watched Mixing Vocals. And by golly, he explained in those videos how he likes to use multiband compression and in fact he gave like a little tutorial and it was amazing and i learned a lot and if you're not familiar a multiband compressor is a combination of a compressor and an eq in one and it works by controlling the amplitude of frequencies not the volume of a track so when you it works when an EQ will not work, and it works when a compressor will not work. So, just to show you guys what I've been doing, I put it on a master bus today, and in fact, I use it on the master bus a lot. The reason I put it over there is to control uh, boomy low end, and I also use it to bring back a lot of the high end or control some high end. If you think about it, we have a bunch of different kinds of tracks hi hat bells, uh, cowbells, ride cymbals, snares, all this stuff feeding into the high end. You have reverbs, you have vocals, just all kinds of snares. Everything you can imagine goes into your highs. And then every, you know, your bass and your kick and, and maybe some pads all goes into the mono lows. So things can get spiky frequency-wise. So the idea is to bring in a, a multiband compressor and use it like an, an EQ compressor. Use it like a multiband compressor and control the lows and the highs one last time before it goes out. So we're going to listen to this. Uh, YouTube people, this is, I have full permission to use this. This is Matt Weiss's mix through multi-track session that I'm just going to use as an example. Let's check out what's going on here. I put it in motion in the band's trial. We rolling full motion. With the blam cock, uh, yeah, yeah. she all in that mirror. Hair blowing in the wind, hair blowing in the I wind. I took off the cap of the head. Then what? Right I ain't never tried to be enough nigga that I couldn't be. They say who keep it a hundred, they look at me. Right. But you try and get some money if not, cause better have a solid reason you're speaking to me. Right. Everybody on my team, we hustle to eat. A man standing on his business, don't shuffle his feet. So I have this session maxed out apparently. I don't know why I'm getting clipping. I can't find the plugin that's the culprit, but I'm working on it. So this is the Personas uh, multiband compressor that comes with Personas Studio One. And I gotta say, I really like it. It's intuitive and it works just like I wanted it to. I haven't figured out how to get rid of bands that's one thing you can do with multiband compressors is you can have a two band a three band or a four band usually but you can add and remove bands and this one is not letting me but that's okay it's not a big deal i'm going to put the lows the mids and the highs here in bypass and i'm going to take the plug-in out of bypass and quickly show you that let's let's start with the low end uh, when you listen to the song In the band's trial. Well, let's go to the high end. Listen to what's going on up there. Yeah, yeah. We rolling for the high end. I put it in motion. In the band's trial. Yeah, yeah. We rolling full motion. With the band. There's all kinds of stuff going on in the highs, and your ear is drawn right to them because 
all of the different instruments are at different levels and they all contain different amounts of high end. So I'm going to go ahead and solo this high end. I need to stop talking. I'm going to go ahead and solo this and then play it for you. So. So you could hear how much high-end energy is coming through there. Uh, and what the problem is, is that it's really overpowering. So I need a way to control just the high frequencies to bring them back in motion. Now, if I put an EQ or back into uh, so that it gels better. Now, if I put an EQ over here and, you know, did a high cut, or or some kind of eq move then those highs would be gone and that's or they would be removed to some degree and that's not what i want i just want to tame them so what i have here for the the highs actually if you look i have a uh two to one ratio i have a pretty fast attack a pretty fast release and then I brought the gain up 1 dB because that's what I kind of figured I was cutting out of it. So let's go ahead and, and turn it on and, and see if it makes a difference. I'll do it before and after, okay? I'm going to turn my mic off. I put it in motion in the band's trial. We rolling full motion with the blam cock. She all in that mirror, hair blowing in the wind. Hair blowing in the I wind. I took off the cap of the head. Then what? I ain't never tryna be enough that I couldn't be. They say who keep it a hundred. So this is a little confusing. So I'm gonna take the high out of bypass. And then what I'm gonna do is make sure that I bring this in and out of bypass for you. And, and that will be all the difference. So let's try that again. I put it in motion in the band's trial. We rolling full motion with the blam cock. She all in that mirror. Hair blowing in the wind. Hair blowing in the I wind. I off the cap of the head. Then what? I ain't never tried to be enough that I couldn't be. They say who keep it up. So as you can hear, it tames the high end. The high end is still there. I haven't done any drastic cuts or anything like that. It's just better under control. Now, because I've cut those uh, spikes, if you will, of the high frequency, I can turn it up a little bit more, and it's going to sound even um, louder, but still controlled. Honey, they look at me. Right. You try and get some money, if not... All right, now let's just do that for the low end, and uh, I'm just going to push play, and I'll bring that low end back in for you. So just to, to let you know, I brought it up to 100 hertz, uh, the low. So I'm going to go ahead and solo the lows and do a before and after. It'll, it'll help you to hear what's going on. So I can actually move this around, and I'm going to do that now, just so you can hear. It's not hard to find your frequency range. Not yeah. We rolling full. 
I just kind of swept around until it was all low end that my song contains no mid range or anything like that. And just to let you know how to use these, when you, as you can see, the low and the high threshold and things, that doesn't change. Um, you have to click in the frequency range that you want to alter, and then all your knobs follow suit. So in this uh, multiband compressor here, all I've done is I've controlled the lows uh, with a very mild uh, ratio of 2 to 1 on both, uh, just because it's on the master bus, and I don't want to do any drastic cuts over there. So I, I basically just took a couple 3 dB off, I think, maybe a little more, and then I turned it up a little bit so that I, I took the offensive dynamic frequencies that were punching through in the low end and the high end. I tamed them, and then I was able to turn it up a little bit just to bring it back to where it was. Um, one more time, I'll do the before and after, and then I want to get on to the next multiband compressor. In the man's trap, oh, yeah, yeah. we rollin' full motion with the blam cock. Oh, yeah, yeah. She all in that mirror, hair blowing in the wind. Hair blowin in all right, what you are looking at now is a multi-band compressor. It is from Isotope, and it's Ozone Five. This is a four-band uh, multi-band compressor. You can make it a three-band easy enough. And again, I'm just doing the lows and the highs, and then just kind of show you my settings and then get out of here. By default, this is the, the multi-band compressor that I like to use. I, I guess I'm used to it. Now, the S and, the, and it might look awfully intimidating when you first look at this, but it's not difficult. Here's your compressor right over here. And as you can see, it's 1 to 7 to 1. That's a very mild ratio. There's a gate and a limiter. I'm not using that. Up here, you have your different bands. If you click, uh, you can go to the different bands. And then in the bands themselves, you have a solo and a bypass, just so you can hear what you're doing. Uh, let me push play, mute my mic, and you guys will hear what's going on. In the band's trap, oh, yeah, yeah. we rollin' full motion with the blam cock. Oh, yeah, yeah. She all in that mirror, hand blowin' in the wind. Hand blowin in the I wind. took off the cap of the head. Get what? Right on it. I ain't never try to be enough nigga that I couldn't be. They say who keep it a hundred, they look at me. Right. But you try to get some money. In so it's farting out like crazy, and I'm not impressed with that at all. And I, again, I can't find the culprit. I thought I removed the plugins that were doing that, but apparently there's one on here that's just wreaking havoc. I will get to that. The point of, of this whole video is, instead of bringing in an EQ on your master bus, or on any track for that matter, and re, we're not removing frequencies that are bothering us, uh, we're not cutting frequencies that are bothering us. We are simply taming the amplitude amplitude of frequencies that um, can be fatiguing to the ear or, or maybe not even loud enough because I can tame the low end and then I can turn that low end up. Right here is the gain knob. I have it turned up. It's at 1.4. So what I did was I tamed the dynamics. Uh, my attack, like I said, is 1.7. I'm sorry, threshold was a, a here we go, ratio is a 1.7. Very fast attack, kind of a medium release. And it tamed the dynamics. It wasn't letting certain, you know, loud parts through. So I turned it up just a little bit to bring it back in the mix. Uh, because this mix is so, is, uh, uh, farting out so badly, I'm going to try to show you one more time what's happening in just the low end. I'm going to bypass it and let's do that now.
maybe I should explain that a little bit better. I put the low end in solo and then I would play it and bypass it just so you guys could hear. I'm going to do the same thing for the high end. So if you didn't get that, just back the video up a little bit and listen to it again. We're going to do the same thing for the highs. I'm going to put the highs in solo and you'll hear just the band that I am taming and then I'll bypass it and you will hear how it sounded before the the multiband compressor was put on. So you will need headphones, I, I assume, I suppose, to hear what's going on, or you will need your full attention. It doesn't jump out at you, but the difference can be night and day sometimes. So especially if you're you're fatiguing, your ears you know, from the high end are fatigued, or if something in the low end is driving you crazy, then a simple multiband compressor will save your life. It's fast, it's simple, and let's check it out. I'll bypass it. In them bands drive oh, yeah, yeah. We rollin' full motion shit With the blam cock oh, yeah, yeah. She all in that mirror Hair blowin' in the wind Hair blowin' in the I wind I took off the cap of the so as you can hear those highs are fatiguing uh, when I bypass it But when I bring it in they didn't go away. They're still there. They're just not as as bothersome. So I hope that helped you guys. And again, use the links provided here uh, in the description to head over to my post because I've got links over there to the products that explained to me how to do this. And David Glenn shows how to do this on vocals and on a, on a mix bus like this and all kinds of different things. And he's a much, much better teacher than I am. And again, if you like this song and you'd like to mix it for yourself, this is Mix Through from Matt Weiss where he shows you exactly what he did to mix this song. But you also get to download the session files, the multi-track session, the exact same one that he was given, and mix it yourself. And you can use it any way you want. You can change things. You can bring things in. You can even use it um, as, as your resume if that's what you would like to do. Drop this finished mix in your resume. So I'm having a blast mixing this and I'm having fun using multiband compression and I just wanted to share. Again, my name is Kern and I thank you guys so much for your time.